You can see the look of this one compared to the sun bum. Three days later. Oh, how the tables have turned! <laughs> look at this hair. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You caught me off guard there, and hopefully we're gonna catch your curls on guard like life. Lifeguard. Anyways, I'm gonna put the drink down for now and talk about what's gonna be going down in today's video. Today I'll be testing a highly requested side-by-side -side comparison of some affordable products that are accessible, vegan, and cruelty-free, and hopefully curly girl friendly. We shall see. I'm going to be doing a Battle of the Brands review of Pacifica Pineapple Curls versus Sun Bum Curls and Waves. And the curly hair routine that you are about to see is going to be very simple. I want to test out how good these are going to be in the summertime. And realistically, in the summer, I don't want to spend a lot of time on my hair. I want to put in a couple products and hope for the best. So from each brand, we'll be doing a leave-in and a curl cream, side-by-side -side dissecting these. And by the end of this video, I'll be giving you my thoughts and reviews on how they work for all hair types. Because if you didn't already know, if you are new here, I am your main girl Mel. I'm a licensed hairstylist curl specialist, and I know hair if I do say so myself. And since I am hair for you, without further ado, let's get into it. Doo -doo. So as we get into things, this is basically going to be a summertime inspired routine. And I don't know about you, but in the summertime, I do want to keep my hair routines very simple, silly. I'm probably washing my hair more often, so I don't want to be piling on a bunch of products just for me to wash them out tomorrow. I want something quick, easy, and hopefully effective and breezy. Beautiful cover girl. Can I say that? Manager? Copyright. Damn it! I didn't say easy. I didn't say it would be easy. No, it's gonna be pretty easy. So the first product that we have to test out is the Sunbum Curls and Waves Detangler. This is a vegan, color safe, sulfate free, paraben free, phthalate free, and UV protecting. Thankfully, underrated hair care practice is protecting your hair from the UV rays in the sun air when we're out in the sun the most. So I absolutely love that these products have some UV protection and I'm hoping that they do give me the curl definition and everything that I'm looking for. But let's take a look at this spray leave-in and the consistency. This is a four fluid ounces spray bottle and oh, it's a very, very, very light spray. Like you can't see any creamy on my hand. It also feels very, very lightweight, probably very versatile. However, if you are someone that needs something a little heavier, well, I'm not gonna jump too soon. I'm not gonna jump the gum too soon. Let's just spray it in my hair. And what's nice about this actually being light is I'm not worried about going too close to my roots. In fact, I do wanna make sure that I am protecting myself up there. Let's see how that works to detangle. The smell of this product is definitely more on the coconutty side, the coconutties. And so far that feels extremely lightweight, but it is very smooth throughout my hair. Some of the ingredients in here is water. Fragrance is number two, so it is quite fragrant, but it's, I wouldn't say it's like perfumey. It just kind of smells like coconut and yeah, it's not crazy strong. Definitely tropical. There's behentrimonium chloride, very common in conditioners, hydrogenated castor oil, kukui nut oil. Coconut oil is definitely in there. Sea kelp and banana. That's what it is. It's like a mix of coconut and banana. Let's move on to our curl cream. This is the Sunbum Curls and Waves Styling Cream. It's a nourishing styling cream enriched with kukui nut oil, monoi, monoi, coconut oil, and seaweed protein. That sounds very interesting. There's also vegan, color safe, sulfate free, paraben free, phthalate free, UV protecting, UV protecting. They've got the little symbol right there and that already is doing things for me. This cream is rich in glycerin. It has hydrolyzed wheat protein, coconut oil, sea kelp extract, banana. And at the very bottom of the list, there is mineral oil, which I am pleased to see because with the cream that sounds so moisturized, especially at the beginning very rich in glycerin that mineral oil in there is gonna make the biggest difference when it comes to humidity so I'm excited to see let's take a look see mm-hmm I'm going to take a generous amount and when you look at it I want you to get close here it looks a little disturbing um, but it does definitely look a lightweight like it's not a very opaque cream a little bit gooey very interesting and it's a little bit transparent let's apply shall we feels very silky 
It feels very silky in the hands. That I'm hoping will also give me some hold. It does say it will deliver light hold with long-lasting, smooth, frizz-free, shiny, touchable hair. And it does claim to be a lightweight styling cream. Now I am gonna define my curls with my brush. And check this, we're gonna be super lazy. Imagine you're by the pool. You have a beach bag with some of your styling products. You can't fit your whole collection. So all you do is you make sure you have your detangling brush and then a couple products. That's what we're gonna use to style. I'm just gonna use my detangling brush. It's not just about the brush, it's about how you use it. So I'm gonna use this the same way I would use my Denman brush, really. What's nice about using a paddle brush is you can typically take bigger sections when styling. It's a bigger, bigger surface area so it can take a little bit more hair, which is gonna be really uh, effective at getting in there, again, in a shorter period of time, which we want. Very good. Remember, keep it simple, silly. I'm just gonna leave this there, clip it away, and one more check before we get into the pineapple curls. This curl cream does not contain any silicones, but there is amyl dimethicone, PEG12 dimethicone, and mineral oil in this extremely lightweight detangler. And my hair feel, felt very silky right now working through. Wonderful first impression so far. Let's get to the pineapple curls, shall we? On to the Pacifica side. These products are also vegan, cruelty-free, phthalate-free, paraben-free, SLS-free. But the difference between the pineapple curls and the sun bum from the ingredients is these are formulated without silicones or mineral oil, which as we know can be excellent in humidity. And honestly, a wonderful ingredient that I love to see if I'm gonna be going out in the sun, playing maybe even in the water a little bit, those type of ingredients are very good to seal out moisture. But let's see, first and foremost, I will be using the Pineapple Curls Refresher Mist as my leave-in. Although it doesn't call itself a leave-in conditioner, that's basically what a formula like this is. This can be applied on both wet or dry hair to refresh, which we love. I love versatile products, but I use refresher products like this all the time as leave-ins, and that's what we're gonna do today. So let's check out this spray. This one, also very lightweight, but a little bit more creamy. A little bit more creamy. Now let's feel it. Mm-hmm. Feels very conditioning, very conditioning. And it smells stronger than the sun bum, but also fruitier. It's, it's, it's quite delicious, honestly. The scent blend here says it's with natural and or essential oil. It has glycerin as the second ingredient, and it also has aloe vera leaf juice, linseed seed oil, panthenol, which is vitamin B5, which is a very conditioning, hydrating ingredient to the hair, coconut fruit water, and coconut oil, very low on the list. So it doesn't seem to be very high in coconut oil. It seems to be more of a hydrating uh, refresher mist, instead of very sealing. So I'm excited to see how how this will compare. Now let's get it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so far compared to the sun bum leave-in, I can feel this one on the hair a little bit more. It feels conditioning, feels coating to the strands. Still, still pretty lightweight, but also not as silky. I guess because it's a little bit thicker, and again, there's no silicones in here or mineral oil. So although it feels, you know, conditioned now, I'm excited to see how this is going to hold in that conditioning. Let's apply the cream, shall we? I have to say, right off the bat, I gotta point out the size here. In comparison to the sun bum, the sun bum we had five fluid ounces, which was was good. Four fluid ounces as a curl cream, not great. Honestly, I'd like to see more from both brands, but let's see if a little bit will go a long way. This is meant to help reduce frizz, define, and add shine. It is infused with coconut oil, pineapple extract, hyaluronic acid, and this formula is designed to add manageability and soft bounce for curly hair types. Now, the Pineapple Curls collection does not come with a hair gel or mousse. So I really am relying, like if I was doing a strictly pineapple curls routine, as I am on this side, I'm relying on this to give me some form of hold. It doesn't claim to do that on the bottle, but let's see how it's going to be. This one is more creamy. You can see the look of this one compared to the sun bum. And if we feel it, it feels rich. Yeah, see, so far this side, the products look more creamy and conditioning. However, they don't have as much slip 
as the sun bump side. They don't, they don't feel as silky upon application. Let's brush this through to find the curls. Okay, so now we have got both sides in. I didn't scrunch anything, so let's do that. And remember friends, we're envisioning this routine to be very summertime friendly, which means we don't have time to, you know, fully blow dry our hair. We still will, but let's speed up that time and use maybe a microfiber towel. I'm gonna do a little plop action. I'm using an ultra microfine microfiber towel and flip. It's damp from my styling, which I like because if it's too dry, it's gonna absorb too much moisture from your hair. Now I'm gonna give this approximately 10 to 15 minutes, diffuse, and then we shall compare the side by side. Be right back. Okay, I'm back, I'm sweating, I'm right off the diffuse. And this took a lot to diffuse. They both took around the same time to dry, I will say that. Actually, if anything, maybe the sunbum side took a little bit longer, but that can happen a lot when there is like mineral oil in a formula because it, it really locks a lot of that moisture in. But she is pleasantly, hold on, there they are. She is pleasantly surprised. The hair still looks wet, but that's because they actually have a cast. Considering I only used cream to style, I'm super happy that there was a little bit of hold. And that's on both sides. Now before I scrunch that out, let's get a good up-close look. Because they're looking pretty good, both sides. Okay, I'm just gonna scrunch and fluff this out. What do we think? What do we think? Honestly, such soft results on both sides. I will say though, Sun Balm is looking a little bit bounce here a little more defined uh, in terms of the curls they actually look more enhanced on this side whereas pineapple curls look a little bit more on the elongated side right now both sides are looking great the real test will be how they live out in a couple days so i'll be back with an update in the meantime where do you think this is going based on what we're looking like right now i don't know comment your prediction below and we'll be back after the break and a refill <laughs> three days later oh how the tables have turned <laughs> Look at this hair. I'm due for a refresh. I haven't touched my hair at all, but you know what? I'm thinking that we're gonna do a little mini refresh right now with some more of the products from these brands, just for funsies, just to add a little extra onto this review, but not without determining which side survived the best. So again, we had the, okay, just a little flat in the back here. We had the Sun Bum and Pacifica Beauty. And just like on wash day, they have their differences. And due to my preferences, I did prefer how the sun bum was looking initially. I thought my curls looked curlier. They looked really springy and everything looked great. But now that it's been a few days and even after going on live and asking what you thought, if you joined my live, this was side two and many of you thought that this side looks better. And I have to say, I think Pacifica is winning this race. There seems to be much less frizz on this side. Not much less, honestly, they both held up well. But a little less frizz, it held the definition more, even though the curls weren't as curly, if you know what I mean. But besides that, both sides still feel very soft, very soft and conditioned. The hair feels amazing. I mean, I guess that's the beauty of not using a gel or a mousse. Remember, this was all cream and it, it feels pretty amazing. And really both sides look great as well. But I think it's fair to say uh, for from the look of it, Pacifica won in the long run. However, I do really, really love and appreciate for summertime that the Sunbum products all have UV protection in them. It is so important to have UV protection on our hair, especially if you color your hair, if you're spending a lot of time in the sun, just like our skin, our hair needs it too. So that's a win for me. But I think both products, both lines had really great products. I did really like the Pineapple Curls Refresher Mist as a leave-in, but let's use it how we're actually supposed to now, shall we? Reboot Tired Kinks Curls and Coils That Need Hydration and Definition. You can spritz it onto curls wet or dry and then scrunch for reviving. Now I do not spritz. Spritz equals frizz. So I'm gonna spray this on my hands and I will lay the product where I want it. So 
Definitely just focusing on the top layer. Definitely needs it a little bit more on this side. And again, I am surprised. I was expecting Sun Bum to hold up a little bit better. Nothing that a little refreshing can't fix because newsflash, you will always have to refresh the hair somewhat if you're doing things to it. No one just wakes up flawless. I even wake up with wonky hair too. I think that feels good for the refresher mist, but there's something else I wanna try. Let's see if we can refresh this hair as well with some more products. We've got the Pacifica Pineapple Curls Pomade. It's a pomade. This is what it looks like. So I'm just dipping my finger in. I'm gonna take some of this. Smells good. It felt grainy at first, but it's melted now. This product comes in a glass jar. It is supposed to help add moisture and shine, tame flyaways and edges, define curls and add texture, formulated without mineral oil. Definitely feels tacky, and I don't know about in finer hair textures, but it doesn't look greasy in my hair. However, we do have dry shampoo for that. This one is Cleansing and Nourishing Revitalizing Dry Shampoo from Sunbum, enriched with natural tapioca starch, vegan and gluten-free, and it has UV. Super important for the scalp, especially, you know, if you don't put a lot of products near your scalp because your hair gets weighed down easily. Dry shampoo might just be right for you. Let's just hope it's not white on you, especially if you have darker hair like me right now. This dry shampoo is vegan, cruelty-free, aluminum-free, sulfate-free, silicone-free, and paraben-free. Let it sit for 30 seconds, then brush or comb through hair and style as desired. Okay, bet. Here we go. You get crazy, get wild, let's party, get down. This is what day four is for. Come through volume. It looks good. I don't really see any white residue, but if there was, and if I needed to add a little extra shine, there's one more thing to try. The Sunbum Anti-Frizz Oil Mist. You guys know I love my oils and I didn't apply any oil or serum to my hair on day one. So this is the first time I'm gonna be applying an oil serum. This is a great way to protect the hair. Um, and this is in a spray, obviously with UV protection. You don't wanna spray water-based and moisturizing products on your hair because that can cause frizz, but an oil mist will not because it's not water. It's not gonna reset the hair. Extremely lightweight here. Although you totally could apply this to your hands if it helps you distribute in a little bit more of a controlled manner, but I'm out of control. So has that coconutty kind of banana scent as well. Just fruity, vegan, cruelty-free, color safe, all that good stuff as well. And I actually don't have a residue on my hand afterwards. They don't feel greasy after using that. This was extremely lightweight. If you have fine hair, thick hair, doesn't matter what hair, it really is for all textures. That just absorbs right in. Get them! It's the UV for me! I feel like I can have the best of both worlds and all the best curls. I can use pineapple curls to style, sun bump to finish, and she's living. I like it. I really like this whole wash day. My oh my was I pleasantly surprised. Wow, we love it! Let me know if you love it too by giving this video a thumbs up. Comment below what other product battles and other videos you'd like to see and make sure you're subscribed so you're here to see them. We put out new videos on this channel each and every Texture Tuesday and sometimes more. And I am so glad that you joined me today for this video. I will put all the details for the products that I used in the description box below if you wanted to further look into them. And until next time, this has been your main girl Mel. Feeling summertime fine and I am out. Peace. Ma'am, this has been an interesting one. Oh bum. What a bum. What a bum you turned out to be. I always did love pineapples. What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. One more sip. Cease, this is good. Is there alcohol in here? Yeah. I thought it was water. I started chugging it. I'm not complaining. I might need it. Uh. Oof. Man, this, you're gonna make me burp all this, this whole video. Man, will you promise to hold my hair at the end of the video? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's just try all that again. Roll back. I do want to get right to it before my hair dries or drips all the way down my chest. Hydrogenated. Hydrogenated. Hydro hydrogenated. Hydrogenated. I can see it. Can you see it? Can you believe it? Uh -oh. <laughs> hey, you breathe.
I need a fan. Give me a fan. Where's your fan? What do you think? <laughs> oh, I don't have my phone. <laughs> Losing it. I wish you could see what I see. <laughs> they look like golden noodles. <laughs> You're not wrong. Now come here. I think at first glance smell? I like this hair better. Yeah. Let's see how they hold up. I'm not gonna do anything. It's time for bed. It's now 1122 p.m. I come alive in the night time. <laughs> on a Monday. Do a little plop action on the craption. Uh, we're gonna go to the toilet here. Okay, bye. No, man, wait. Bye.